I want to show you how to uproot the hedges for a small uh, tree. What I did was I got three two by fours and a long screw along with a washer and a nut. So I made holes, three holes going straight through. And I'm going to keep some space between the two by fours so that I could uh, hang the uh, anchor that I've bought from uh, Harbor Freight, which cost me about 25 bucks. And the two by fours each cost me $4, so 25. Then you have each of the two by four, $4 each, $12, right? So about approximately with the screws and all, about $35, it cost me to uproot the um, four hedges. So this is the winch for someone who's looking to uh, buy the same one. It has a 4,000 pound capacity. It comes with a cable. Um, as I said, I bought it from uh, Harbor Freight. And I, I wanted to show you what I did exactly. So I drew, as you see the red line, I had the uh, cable go around the plant or the small hedge around it so that I could pull and it won't slip up when I'm ratcheting the handle. I wanted to show you so the uh, picture looks much clearer. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, ratcheting it up. It's a good idea to pick a good day, you know. Uh, I, I had picked a nice day. Um, we had rain out here for the last couple of days, so the soil is already soft, you know. Uh, not that it's going to be, not, not that the job is going to be any easier, but um, it does help when you have moist, when the soil is moist and, and you're uprooting a tree or a small hedge plant here. Uh, it makes uh, life so much easier. So as I'm ratcheting it up, you see the whole root is moving. So that means it's uh, pretty much loose, but it's not ready yet. You see, as I kick it, nothing happens. So I have to do more work, but you do see that crack. So that means the uh, root is separated from the soil. So keep on ratcheting it up and keep in mind the cable may slip. So, uh, you know, make sure Make sure the uh, roots that you see still stuck under the ground, cut them all as much as you can. As many root, big roots you see uh, down to the soil, cut them. It will help the process. And at the same time, you know, be mindful of the uh, cable, the tension on the cable. You do not want it to slip, you know, because the whole apparatus just might fall on you. You want to keep, if you have a helper, that would be great. While somebody's holding it, you could go ahead and cut the roots. But that's what happens. I'm still not able to move it with my feet. But, um, however, I'm able to pull the root out with the uh, ratchet on the winch. So what I want to do is I want to clean the soil off as much as I can. So it will be lighter and it will be so much easier for me to move it around. I'm also able to use my tool, as you see, uh, to uh, pull it up, push it, make it more loose. You know, a lot of physical uh, force that I had to apply, but you know, I, I did get the job done. Um, if I had any electrical winch, it would have been faster, but you know, manual labor, nothing like the manual labor, as they say. So I kept on doing that. Uh, and then what it did was well, it revealed any roots that might still be connected to the root. You know, so when I found that, I make sure that was cut off. I'm shaking it off to get any loose soil off the root. I want to make sure uh, it's not connected to the soil in any way. So I could just uh, move it to the side once that is verified. Looks like I could just uh, push the root to the side and throw it away. And uh, put it upside down or downside it up. It's amazingly how you know much root this uh, thing has. And it wasn't well grounded as I expected, but I did have this big root connected to something. 
and that's what the setup looks like I'm gonna go ahead and pull the second one up and I wanted to show you my uh, setup once more you see the winch and I have this three two by four setup and um, I, you want to make sure the uh, cable is all snugged up and all around the hedge plant or tree you want to make sure it's positioned correctly you don't want to position it sideways and then when you pull the uh, cable will just slip out so as you do the ratcheting you want to make sure the cable is in place please don't forget to uh, like this video subscribe ring the bell and if you find it useful do not forget to share it with your families and friend and this is what the setup looked like I just wanted to show you before I go and one more time that's the winch I used and I wish you best on your next project thank you for watching